So what were some challenges or that you were trying to um, tackle at the time? And what is that one problem you were trying to uh, solve um, that led you to this incredible journey of launching an entire industry? Yeah, so, you know, it's a, it's a it's a great question, and I think to really to really answer that question, um, I'd have to kind of take you back to the genesis of, of of starting this business and kind of what what led to, to doing this in the first place. You know, I, I was born in Saudi Arabia to um, Egyptian parents, so my, my roots are firmly uh, in North Africa. Um, and um, you know, growing up, I, I I could really be anything I wanted to be in the world. You know, as long as it was a doctor or engineer. But uh, in, in all seriousness, although I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that, um, I, I actually grew up with a real fascination for um, for, for science uh, and, and 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 a real fascination for clinical medicine in particular. Um, and not only that, but I also grew up with a simultaneous skepticism towards business. So, you know, growing up, I always perceived business as a vehicle where the main driver is to enrich shareholders and to enrich individuals and to concentrate wealth and success amongst the few. And therefore, there is kind of this tension where if your goal is to maximize profits, you're necessarily going to do whatever it takes to accomplish that. And that can sometimes mean compromising the environment, compromising people's welfare, compromising, you know, uh, um, the, the, the broader benefits to society. And that was very much a, a worldview that I held for most of my, my, my life growing up and, and even in my university years. And for that reason, business never appealed to me. Also added to the fact that no, on, on, on virtually no side of my family's either extended family, even did we ever have any real entrepreneurs. So not only did I grow up without a direct, you know, relatable role model entrepreneur, I also grew up with a parallel skepticism or even, you know, distaste for business as a vehicle to induce change. And 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 in effecting positive change has just always been something that 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 drove me personally and and really drove my purpose. And it's fir firmly rooted in 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 our faith. Um, that, that everything we do has to be additive and has to be beneficial. And, and we have to think about, yes, what are we disrupting, but what are we displacing and, and, and all of that. So, um, so for me, a career in medicine seemed like the very, very noble, obvious path to channel that desire to serve others while at the same time satisfying my intellectual curiosity and, you know, pursuing something that I personally deem challenging and worthwhile. Mm. So, but, but, you know, oftentimes we say that, you know, you have your plan and Allah has his plan. And of course, Allah's plan is always the one that, 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 that advances. Um, so here I am, you know, I, I went to the University of Toronto where we met Taha and, and, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I've, I've, I've enjoyed in, in, in many of those years listening to your footballs and mashallah, you're one of those people who has that like perma smile, right? So, so even when you're saying something ominous and, and, and scary, it's just, it always has this kind of reassuringness to it because you have that smile. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, you know, we, we, we I, 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 I proceed to do my master's degree in neuroscience at McGill. And then from there, I, I pursue a MD, MBA. And that's a five-year program. The way it's structured is it's one year of business school followed by four years of medicine. Mm. And it was actually during the first month of this MBA program that I received an email that completely changed my life. And it was an invitation to participate in the world's largest business competition called the Halt Prize, which is a $1 million prize. And the idea behind it is to inspire entrepreneurs to build a business that has the potential to tremendously impact the world in a positive way. And that for me was an aha moment because it really disrupted this narrative and this worldview that I had developed that business can't be a vehicle to do good. Mm -hmm. Here's this challenge that is basically daring me to do exactly that, to take business and actually use it as a lever to effect significant global change. And the challenge that was selected that year was food and security. So who can build a business that in a span of 10 years can address food security and therefore address issues of hunger and food sustainability for 20 million people by building a profitable business model. Wow. So I put together a team and we started doing some research and that's when we came across this extraordinary insight that insects are this widely abundant but mm -hmm. incredibly underexploited source of nutrition that is already widely consumed around the world but completely lacks a safe, scalable supply chain to make available. So 
Um, so, so, so I think, I think it's, it's, it's really fascinating to, um, to, to, it was fascinating to us to, to, to learn this and then ultimately to figure out how to build, you know, a business model around it. And, and of course there were challenges and, and obstacles that we faced, but let me pause there and, and let you jump in if you have any <laughs> on that. 